With the Airbus Maverick, the future of aircraft is quite a spectacle. If you expected it to appear just like the regular jets with the turbines sticking out on the large wings, you'll be surprised. The brand new Maverick, a blend of modern technology and configuration, stands out without a peer. So what makes this machine so outstanding? Let's find out in this video. You can pause for a moment and hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button and notification bell to get more interesting discoveries in the automobile industry. Since commercial air travel took off in the 1950s, much has changed. Tighter seats, safer flights, the rise and fall of seat back screens, but not the nature of the planes themselves. The tube and wing design, after all, is reasonably efficient and structurally sound. After all, what other shapes would fly? One idea that's been in the air since the 1990s is catching a second wind thanks to a new effort by Airbus. On 11 February 2020 in Singapore, Airbus revealed Maverick, a model aircraft for validation and experimentation of robust, innovative controls. The Maverick, the name is an acronym for Model Aircraft for Validation and Experimentation of Robust, Innovative Controls. It has blended the wing and the body in one light solid mass. To cement the idea fully as perfectly valid, Airbus first constructed a model. The technological demonstrator is 2 meters long and 3.2 meters wide, with a total area of about 2.25. Maverick features a disruptive aircraft design that has the potential to reduce fuel consumption by up to 20% compared to current single-aisle aircraft. The blended wing body configuration also opens up new possibilities for propulsion systems type and integration, as well as a versatile cabin for a totally new onboard passenger experience. Airlines today are converting planes into flying cattle cars with passengers packed in as tightly as possible to maximize revenue. But Airbus says blended wing planes could change all that. As the name suggests, the triangular Maverick blurs the distinction between wing and body. The airfoil design generates lift across the entire fuselage rather than just the wings, meaning more power goes further and reduces drag. In an industry where efficiency improvements generally come from tweaks to engine and aircraft design that provide 1 or 2 percent bumps, a 20 percent improvement would be massive. With engines above the fuselage, the Maverick would create less noise for those on the ground and it could accommodate new propulsion systems, including hybrid and electric power plants. For passengers, the design would mean fewer windows seed. Oops but more possibilities for alternative steering configurations and more creative space allocation. Launched in 2017, Maverick first took to the skies in June 2019. Since then, the flight test campaign has been ongoing. Jean Bryce Dumont, the EVP of engineering at Airbus while speaking about technologies of the Maverick Airbus said, Airbus is leveraging emerging technologies to pioneer the future of flight. By testing disruptive aircraft configurations, Airbus can evaluate their potential as viable future products. Although there is no specific timeline for entry into service, this technological demonstrator could be instrumental in bringing about change in commercial aircraft architectures for an environmentally sustainable future for the aviation industry. While the model is still going through evaluation, the aircraft interior design team at Airbus is already imagining what the passenger experience might be like on board a blended wing aircraft. Using virtual windows that display images from outside is possible. But as Emirates and Collins Aerospace learned when designing the virtual windows for the airline's central first class suite, projected images can cause motion sickness. The image shown on virtual windows must be carefully timed to coincide with the motion that the body feels to avoid making passengers dizzy. For example, when the view of the outside is stable and the body is shaking from turbulence or with the motion of takeoff. Managing motion sickness will be a central challenge for this wider aircraft design, with passengers on the side rows more likely to feel a pull as the aircraft turns. This could be compensated for by a seat structure that has some suspension mechanism or a design that nestles passengers in a way that compensates for the aircraft's movement. The flying wing isn't without its drawbacks. A true flying wing has all kinds of stability and design challenges related to the lack of a tail, the distribution of weight, and even how thick the front end is because it's where the only people or cargo have to sit. None of this is inherently bad or implausible. Every form factor of an airplane has limitations and challenges, but it's likely why Airbus is drumming up public support with a working concept scale model. The Maverick does have a little tail-like area. 
With vertical stabilizers similar to twin or even multi-boom airplanes, these stabilizers help to counteract some phenomena in high-speed flight and when the plane turns. The tail overall helps a traditional airliner to stay stable in gusting wind. These variables will need to be fully and exhaustively solved by Airbus before a blended wing passenger plane could ever take off. Moreover, the University of Toronto aerodynamics researcher Thomas Raist, while commenting about that, said, Plane structure with a larger interior would need to accommodate different pressurization requirements. The trick will be making the plane strong enough to do that without adding weight and reducing efficiency. Stability is also an issue. Without the horizontal and vertical tails that tube and wing aircraft have, maintaining a stable and controllable aircraft is much more challenging. That's why Airbus says controllability is the primary interest area for the Maverick program. The company also needs to see how the aircraft performs in moments of flight failure in the absence of a traditional airplane's ailerons, flaps, spoilers, elevators, and even a tail. In a statement, Airbus says one specific challenge was to assess the low speed and stall dynamics. The future testing will analyze aspects such as Maverick's handling qualities, flight control, multi-objective control surfaces, and modularity. But it's doable, though it will take some time. Airbus is also considering alternative propulsion sources for the aircraft, according to Aviation Week. These include an eco-pulse system being developed by Safran and Daher that would use three electric rotors on each wing powered either by batteries or an electricity-generating, fuel-burning turbine engine. But rethinking the commercial jet is not so simple. After the engineers sign off on structure and efficiency, regulators, airlines, and others will want to evaluate the plane for everything from compatibility with existing airports to evacuation times to passenger acceptance. Airbus isn't the first commercial plane maker to dabble in blended wing designs. In 2007, Boeing teamed up with NASA to create the X-48B blended wing prototype. Its demonstrator flew a total of 122 flights, with the project ending in 2013. Dutch airline KLM recently announced its plans of funding the development of a V-shaped, fuel-efficient airplane design known as the Flying V, intended to carry more than 300 passengers and offer 20% fuel efficiencies on aircraft of comparable capacity. But the actual pioneer was McDonnell Douglas late in the 20th century. Former plane maker McDonnell Douglas was a particular pioneer in this field in the late 20th century. Indeed, McDonnell Douglas came up with a design that it called the Blended Wing Body or BWB in the late 1990s. According to Air and Space magazine, this was the result of work by aerodynamicist Robert Liebeck that had begun the previous decade. It could have had a wingspan as wide as 340 feet. This equates to 103.6 meters. Of course, McDonnell Douglas' merger with Boeing at around the time of the BWB's development meant that it could never pursue the project itself. However, Boeing pushed forward with this work. This resulted in the creation of an experimental aircraft known as the X-48 as seen below. It produced two of these and flew them between 2007 and 2013. Airbus is currently working also on several demonstrator projects in addition to the Maverick through its Airbus Up Next research program, including its EFAN X hybrid electric propulsion aircraft and an autonomous air taxi. Initially, many dismissed the Maverick project as merely a hobby, or in other words, a project Airbus wouldn't learn very much from. But when the first concept model took to air in June 2019, many were proved wrong. The model of the Maverick will doubtless enable Airbus to accelerate its understanding of new aircraft configurations and to mature the technology necessary to fly such a radically different aircraft. It's left them to still prove that they can transfer the idea of the demonstrator into one real plane.